Hi, Sam here from Music Tech. We're at the Den and DJ booth with Jason uh, at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. And we have five new products from Den and DJ. Is that right, Jason? That's right. Five cool. new hardware products. And uh, we've got the two new media players here, right? That's right. So right here we have the SC6000M. We have an SC6000 and an X1850 mixer. Sweet. So tell us a little, about, little bit about the new media players because they're... You're able to stream from Wi-Fi on those, correct? Absolutely, yeah. So if you're familiar with our SC5000 products that we put out in the market about three years ago at NAMM, yeah. these are just built on that same legacy, those industry strong features cool. like onboard analysis, dual layer playback. Again, you mentioned the Wi-Fi already, already yep. but they all have Wi-Fi built in, so you can stream directly from Tidal right now, and you'll be able to stream from uh, SoundCloud, Beatport, and BeatSource, all coming very soon, which is really exciting. And Tidal, you'll be able to get lossless audio straight into the exactly. media player to play Download out, right? Flack and yeah, play that lossless audio, which awesome. is great. Um, yeah. So what's the main difference between the 6000 and the 6000M? So the only difference really between the M and the 6000 version is just a motorized platter. So obviously we have a 8.5 inch motorized, Jog wheel here, so if you want to get that classic vinyl feel, you get that with a digital media player, which is awesome. And then the 6000 variant is a static platter, still 8.5 inch, which has grown about an inch and a half from our previous version. It's just a more, you know, if you're one of those guys that like to do long mixing, beat mixing, yeah, yeah, and things sure. like that, you're not too concerned about scratching, the 6000 would be your choice. And you can adjust things like torque on the Exactly, yeah, so you have a wheel tension here so you can make it lighter or tighter, depending on the way you like it to feel. Sweet. The motorized version has a high and a low torque setting, so you can control how much torque is applied to the actual platter as you're scratching on it, which is cool. And you got some uh, pretty big screens on them too. Yeah, yeah. So the 5000 had a 7-inch color display. Uh, all of our displays are multi-gesture, multi-touch, so you can do things like pinching on the waveform to zoom in and out of the waveform, which is really cool. To zoom in, to see a little bit more detail on the waveform. You can also kneel drop through the timeline when you're not playing. So you can drop into different areas of the track. You can look through your track lists. Quickly swipe through the different tracks. If you want to add something to a prepare folder, you can swipe it to the left. If you want to add it to the track, you can swipe it to the right to load it to the deck. Very smart. So it's, it's very intuitive. It's like a yeah. tablet workflow. So people are already kind of used to that with an iPad or a similar devices. And how are you loading in songs onto the, the beta yeah, player so itself? So it's got Wi-Fi, so you really could show up to any event without any physical media at all, right? And just play off the Wi-Fi or connect it to the hardwire internet. But it's got loads of options for media devices. So you've got a USB and an SD underneath the front here, which are kind of tucked away. Make sure you don't accidentally hit them. No one from the crowd is going to pull your hard drive, yeah. your drive off. But it also has two more ports on the rear as well. And the 6000s also had a great new feature, which is a hard drive bay underneath. So you could install your own hard drive, take all your music with you everywhere you go, which is a awesome. really, really nice feature. Awesome. Yeah. So that means that if I'm playing in a bar or a club, I can no longer say I don't have Justin Bieber. I know, Because I'm going right? to have access to yeah, Wi-Fi. I know. We're making it harder for Killer. DJs to say no. <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's a good and a bad thing. You know, there's a trade-off there. Yeah, for there, sure, for sure. It's helped me trim down my collection quite a bit because I don't have to carry around all the BS yeah, that yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. to play. Uh, awesome. But yeah, I can't say no anymore. It's, it's <laughs> tough. Um, anything else on the mixer you'd like to talk about? Yeah, so this is the brand new X1850 mixer built on the, uh, the 1800 groundwork. So it's got the same layout as our 1800. We added a locking IEC to this. All of the flagship media players also have the locking IEC, which is great for festival stages where there's can sure. be a lot of vibration and things like that, making sure that it's always locked in place. It's got uh, visual controls on the top to kind of match this new Premier flagship range. Everything's been really refined and darkened to give it a more Premier, more yeah. premium look, and the 1800 gets that as well. The 1850 also gets uh, improved effects, effects limiter, and improved uh, channel faders from our previous version. So there's, you know, subtle upgrades, but it's still, you know, a notable, notable difference here between this and the 1800 to match with the new flagship line. Yeah, really nice. What kind of effects have you got on there on board? Yeah, so there's 16 digital effects that are built into the BPM. So we have things like delay, echoes, ping pong, stranger, flanger, filters, phasers, reverb. 16 of them on the BPM, but we also have sweep effects. So you have dub echo, a noise buildup, washout, and a gate, as well as a filter. So you could do things in tandem so you can control the filter and one of those effects simultaneously nice. to really sculpt and get some cool sonic uh, sounds out of it. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So, Jason, we've got the Prime 2 here, correct? Yeah, so this is the Prime 2. Last year at NAMM, we introduced the, the Prime 4, which was the 4-deck version with a 10.1-inch display. 
So now we've introduced the Prime 2, uh, you know, as the name says, Prime 2. It's a two-channel standalone DJ console. Features awesome. a, uh, a seven-inch touch display, just like all of our other touch displays here. Uh, the important thing to, to note here is that they all run the same exact software. So you've got the same experience on the big flagship models that you get on the two-deck version and the four-deck version. Is that including the multi-gesture modes as well then? So oh, yeah, you can pinch in and... Awesome. Yeah, all those cool. workflows, all those touch interactions, it's the same exact experience from one device to the other. So it's important, you know, you might start with this piece here, the Prime 2, and then you can move on up to the bigger sure, players yeah, in the future. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a two-deck version. It has uh, built-in effects on both decks, a seven-inch touch screen, where you can do multi-touch gestures, you can search for tracks, you can connect to the Wi-Fi, such as Tidal. Again, we've already talked about it on the 6000, but again, all those features are available on this product as well. So there's very little compromise when you're moving sure, around sure. The, the product ranges. So who is this for? So the Prime 2 is aimed at that mobile entertainer, right? The pro mobile guy who does weddings, who does small clubs right, yeah. and bars and things like that. Uh, it's, it's portable, so you could pretty much bring it wherever you want to go. Uh, maybe it's somebody that's just starting out because it has a lot of the controls there, but there may be re refined but it still offers the you know the abilities to do hot cues, looping, rolls, slicer, yeah. and then all the effects. So if you wanted to kind of start learning it and then work your way up, it still has all the great features to advance uh, with the product, which is really, really nice. Do you sell a uh, travel case with this as well? So there's so many vendors out there that make cases, right? Sure. We work with sure. all those guys hand in hand, UDG, Odyssey, Magma, uh, deck saver, so there will be a solution out there when the product's available for sure. Nice, lovely. Yeah. And we have a smaller version here. Yeah, so this is uh, the most exciting piece. This is the uh, the Prime Go. So this is a two deck, another two deck version, also running Engine OS, but this one is completely uh, wireless and battery powered. Awesome. Yeah, so it's a super small box, but it's extremely professional. Like this is aimed much at a more compact and a pro guy that wants to have you know a wedding ceremony that might be remote where he doesn't have power. Yeah. Or prepare. Maybe you want to prepare a set like as you're traveling somewhere on a train or wherever it may be in your hotel room before your event. Mm. Still has professional I.O. on the back. So you've got XLR for your master. You still have an RCA. Quarter inch for a booth. Auxiliary input for an iPad or something like that. And then two full combination jacks for microphones. Because if you're a wedding DJ, you've got to have two mics. One for your lavalier, for the officiant, sure. and one for your readers and uh, things like that. So again, same same exact experience from all these products. Engine OS, we use a, uh, a desktop app called the Engine Prime. That's how you get all your software or your, your music ready to get in any one of these devices. But again, you don't even have to do that. All these products, analyze files on board. You could also just connect to the Wi-Fi and stream your music. So, so even if you stream something straight away, you've got the BPM, the waveform coming through, everything's analyzed straight away. Yeah, since no preloading or anything like that. Yeah, it, you got it. Since we have the power awesome. to analyze files on board, you can stream a track, we give you the BPM, we give you the beat grid, we give you the key signature, so you have all that information to ensure your performance is on point. So how much do all these lovely devices cost, and when are they available, Jason? Yeah, yeah, so the Prime Go is gonna be available in Q1, so February, March, that time sure, frame, sure, it's sure. going to be retail for $9.99 in the U.S. The Prime 2 will be available around the same time, uh, and it will be a retail for $13.99. Cool. Uh, on the other side, the SC6000 will retail for $14.99, and that will be available in quarter two of 2020. And the 6000M with the motor is going to retail for $16.99, and that will also be available in quarter two, as well as the 1850 quarter two with a price tag of $10.99. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Jason. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah, thank you.